Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're right in front of my clothes. Oh, no, no, no. I think this is what I need. So remember like a few years ago when everyone and their mom was doing that paint Bob Ross video with only audio thing? Welcome, that's what I'm doing. I haven't painted since like... The week of Easter, that's the last time I painted. And I want an excuse to paint before it get- This is probably me messing up my audio, oh dear. I- Oh Jesus. I want an excuse to paint before it gets too cold out. Because if you're unfamiliar with oil paint, I need to open a window. So that the turpentine fumes don't kill me. And I can't die. I haven't watched One Piece yet. Also, I refuse to die until I see Jojo Part 6 animated. David Productions. Where is she? Where is she? Where is my daughter? I want to see my daughter. I don't want to put it all good. This is obviously a joke. I know that animation takes time, but it's a different story. If we get another Rohan OVA, if we get another Rohan OVA before we get part six, I swear to God. Let's get painting. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. How did that sound? <sighs> anyway, I walked my brother through downloading a Bob Ross video to an MP3 so that I would not be spoiled <laughs> for what the uh, Kia tells me. 27 minutes! That's so many minutes! Should I borrow my dad's AirPods? I'm too broke for AirPods, but apparently my father isn't. Filthy bourgeoisie scum. <laughs> Shit, I didn't! Oh, because this is fresh out of the package. Oh, before I paint, I usually use like an acrylic gesso base and then let that dry. But we're going in straight to campus because I didn't do that. Bob, what do I do? Oh, <laughs> uh, should I do that? No, I'm ready to paint. No, we, you know what? The first, the first happy accident has occurred. Okay, Bob, what colors do I need? So I tell you what, let's start out today and have run all the colors across the screen that you oh, need shit. to paint along with us. While they're doing that, as usual, let me show you what I've got done up here. I don't see them! I have a standard old 18 by 24 inch pre-stretched canvas. And today I've taken and cut a little oval out of some adhesive back paper or contact paper, whatever you call it, and just stuck it on here. And we've covered the center with a little bit of the liquid white and it's all wet and ready to go. And Puff D would do one of those little ovals. That's become one of the most popular things we've ever introduced. So, let's start out with the old two inch brush, a little bit of the Thalo blue. Th Beautiful okay. blue color. Thalo blue. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't have Thalo blue. Google, 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 help me. Oh God, Google, I, I, my caps lock is on, but you know what, that's accurate. What is closest to Thalo blue? Ultramarine, perfect. That I have, that I have. Come on, man, where's Ultramarine? I know I've got Ultramarine. Somewhere. Shit, no! I don't have oil ultramarine, I have gouache ultramarine! <laughs> Maybe if I lighten that portion. I'm so sorry, Bob. Give me a minute here. Hang on, let me just hear what he's doing first. I'm going to tap a little into the bristles and let's go right up here. And we'll start up here at the top today, just making little, little crisscross strokes. Little X's. Right over. And that's continually bl Okay, I think I know what he's doing. <sighs> and when I paint, I get it everywhere. So I stole this apron that I haven't used since I was like 16. <sighs> Remnants of my shameful teenage past of being obsessed with super rulock on Tumblr, yay. <coughs> it's too tight. <laughs> <laughs> what if I mix Prussian with some co- Ball. You know what? We're just gonna use cobalt. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. He said to dip the thing and do. Oh, oh, that's not stable. Oh damn! Even that is like way too dark. Hand. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Are the 
paint fumes already getting to me. I've been painting for two minutes. Fixing cam. All right, we're gonna get up close and personal for a hot second. Hey, how's it going? Please don't ask me why I have a tile as my uh, palette. It's just what my professor told me to do, and I've been doing it ever since. I don't know. I, I she's chill. I trust her. Anyway, we'll see. Oh god, oh, this bitch absorbs the turpentine. Like a sponge or something. Okay, okay, okay. Time, time to make a bottle of Oh no. Oh, I'm off to a great start. This brush is still very turpentine. Oh god, Mr. Ross. I don't want this on my wall. <laughs> Mr. Ross. <laughs> I hope this is what you- No! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, okay. He said he was starting with crisscrosses near the top, so I- I hope this is what he's doing. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> oh god, there's so many happy accidents right off the bat. Oh my god. Okay, Bob, what next? Where's my play button? Oh, it's down here in the cleavage. Okay, hey. Blending with the liquid white. So automatically you get this beautiful variation of color in the beautiful blending. There we are. There, a little bit okay. more. Maybe we'll come right over here. Maybe we'll have a happy little cloud in this guy. So I'll just leave a little area open here. There. Oh, come God. Down, down. Oh, God. Okay, hang on. Too bad. Hang on. It doesn't matter. Oh, God, I need to workshop this. This is... I have way too much turpentine on this brush right now. Oh, good lord. Oh god. This is off to a great start. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. He said a cloud. Uh, I did not cover my canvas in liquid white. So I think I'm gonna try to just down here, like, kind of blend white into the blue. And hope it doesn't look too ugly. Should I start it out by saying I'm okay at oil painting? <sighs> Landscapes? Yeah. Still lifes? Also, yeah. This one won me a scholarship that I actually haven't used because I'm kind of a failure of a human, but it's okay. Portraits? <laughs> it needs some work. Well, painting's fun. God, I don't know how far down the canvas he said to go. Oh God, I just assumed we're doing landscape. Is this landscape? Is this portrait or la- Sh Oh no. I'm sure it's fine. Oh God, oh God, oh God, Mr. Ross, I'm so sorry. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. I actually kind of like this. Okay, clouds. Time for- <laughs> Hello? Thank Do you, you. want to see me paint a happy little cloud? Okay. And let me know if I'm in frame also, because <laughs> I'm unsure. Oh, this is what you meant when you're doing the Bob Ross thing. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Oh, that's what I keep saying. <sighs> oh, God. Okay. I'm going to take a break from the two inch brush and go in with this one so that I have like less bluey, less turpentiney white so that I can actually make like a try to make a happy little cloud. This kind of just looks like that. Oh, 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 who is she? Actually, that's good. This is a happy little cloud. Okay, I'm gonna add another one in there. I'm getting overconfident. We're gonna go in it with another cloud. Oh God. Bob Ross, be proud of me. Okay, wait, what does he have to say next? What there. Doing? Come right on down. To about there, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anything we don't like, we just paint over it. Keep right on going. Oh, okay. Just helps blend everything together, something like so. Now then, let's do the fun part. Let's wash the old brush. Oh, I if can't do that. Me before, you know, this is the part that's most exciting. <laughs> Especially to the camera crew. All right. I'll tell you what, today, let's just use a little one-inch brush and make a happy little cloud. Oh, okay. I already made a cloud, but, oh, I'm already ahead. Let's figure out where our little fluffy cloud will live in our world. It will start. Let's do another one over here. But keep the brush moving. I don't know. Maybe it just goes right on over here somewhere. 
in your world, you put it wherever you want it. All right. Wait, this is now fun. Now back to our two inch brush. I'm not stressed yet. Very gently. Oh, we're moving on. Corner. Wait, I'm going to blend the <laughs> base of this cloud out. Now then, let's have some little, like little rolling hills that live back in okay. here. Okay. We'll take, oh, we'll use a little Prussian blue, a little okay. alizarin crimson, proportionately. Okay. Much, much more blue than crimson. And God, a little so white out here. Oh, Maybe okay. Wait, just wait, a touch wait. more of the blue. Oh, that's nice. Uh, hold that top up. Oh, 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 there's blue everywhere. Okay, this is not a very pretty color, but I'm gonna, we're gonna trust the process. We're gonna trust Ross Bob. All right, so let's take the lightest one first. Let's go up in here. Come right up in here and let's take Let's just put us a very basic little shape, something like so. Then we'll take our brush and grab and firmly pull the paint. Firmly pull it, just like so. We want it to get lighter toward the base. Okay, pull it right through there. I think I'll have some trees over here, so I'm not too worried about this side. I don't know. If we leave it blank, then for sure we'll have to put something. It's because I cannot see what I, he's, he's doing. My basic plan is to like, kind of grasp it. Oh God. <laughs> kind of uh, figure out what he's trying to make. And I'm gonna do a little different process because I cannot see what he's doing. But I'm, I'm hoping that the end result is going to be the same. I have weight, this brush absorb, I, this brush absorbed so much more turpentine than I anticipated. So I keep having to like, wipe off the excess liquid from here. This is gonna be lighter than the, you know what? I haven't seen many Bob Ross videos, but I think this should be up further. That seems like something he would do, right? Like we have the hills up here and then down here is like a lake or something. I don't know. Oh God, there's more of that. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh. Whatever, we're moving on. I'm gonna blend that. Okay. Let's get some trees in there. Does that look like a tree? Oh, God. Oh, this should be so much smaller. This is a bitch that's far away. Okay. And we'll once again, pick up a little roll of paint on the knife. Let's go back up in with, here. Come right back with in. With the here. knife. Okay. And then let's drop right okay. down like that. And let's just put another little hill in here. Okay. It helps create the illusion of depth in your painting when you do I that. I don't have enough paint for this. Maybe it turns and goes up right there. I don't know. You decide. In your world, you make all these big decisions. But once again, we're firmly, firmly pushing that color right into the, and just move the color. Okay. God Allow damn it, hang on. This should be like all the way up here, shouldn't it? Cause, oh God, okay. Um, I am not happy with this. This had so much potential up here. And now these just look like, this just looks like an ass. And as you can see, look at the little light area in between these two. That's the separator. That's your good friend. Take care of it. Okay. Treasure. Yeah. He said something about like separating the hills, so I, I'm gonna try and go in with like a little bit of white and just kind of like distant hills, distant hills. If you wait, okay. And lift gently upward a little bit, and it'll look like you can make out the indication of little trees that live way back okay. in the woods, okay. way back on that hill. I hope you can see those quite small, but they're there. Okay, okay. I think now I know then. what to do. That's a lie, but... We'll have some land areas, maybe right in here. We'll just put a nice little hill. Wait, this are we using green now? Color. Oh, God. Okay, I need hill. I need land. I have land. Where are we putting the land? This is just... Just so our light, our highlights will show when we put them on top of this. You could really put this on with a paint roller. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, but it's a good place to practice with a brush. Because so much of painting is a feel. You, you, 
very quickly. You can feel just by touching the canvas whether your paint's too thick, too thin, you got too much on the brush, and it comes. <sighs> My camera ran out of storage, so I had to empty that, but uh, we're, uh, we're, we're good. We're good now. All right. On. Ugh, I need someone strong. Andy's gone to bed for the night and Joey hasn't woken up yet for the day. Ugh, ouch. Ugh. Ah! Gotcha, bitch. And just put a little grass down at those, the base of those two little trees. Wait, I wasn't supposed to you put see, grass? See, it creates a whole other plant. Let's put a little more color right in here. What kind of color? Leave that dark so light will show. What kind of color? There. Tell you what, watch here, watch here. I get carried away. Maybe right here. Maybe there's a happy little pond. Oh. Let's wee back here. Oh. Pull straight down. I'm gonna get just the least little touch of touch. I'm now realizing. I think I was supposed to make like the base of the hills grassy, maybe. And then this can be the pond. Yeah. Maybe. Once again, this dark is here only to make the light show. Because without it, you just don't have any light. If you put light against light, you have nothing. If you put dark against dark, you have nothing. So you're always playing games, light against dark, dark against light. That's what makes it work. Okay. Just illusions. We only have a two-dimensional yeah. surface here. We said there was going to be a big tree right here. Well, let's just have us a big tree. We'll just use the corner of the old two-inch I'm not part. done adding my dark. Okay, hang on. I think I'm gonna fill the rest of the canvas with this grass. I'm using uh, Viridian Green, so it's already got like kind of a blue tint. So it should be good for blending in down here. It kind of looks like a really ugly Minecraft biome. Minecraft biome at dawn. Should that be what I name this? I mean, it could be worse. A tree, you said? We're gonna put the tree over here for some balance. Why did I make this tree so big? Oh no, 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 no. What's that song going on on TikTok right now? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, 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 no. Why did I make this tree so big? I'm not sure what I did wrong, but these colors are so ugly. <laughs> We're gonna add some depth to these trees so that they look more like trees. Okay. Do these look good? No. Do they look like trees? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, bushes, 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 bushes. Some bushes right up in here. Yeah, bushes. How, how bad is it for the environment if I burn an oil painting? It's like bad, right? Because oil paint is very flammable. Oh God, that just looks like grass. Please. Where am I putting it? There. God, now this really looks like a gross Minecraft. Let's have another little watery spot right here. Okay, I think I'm gonna put it down. Just to get... What a white you said? Oh yeah, look at that. They need some nice little highlights on them too. Oh, I already did that, cool. Touch a little bit of the bright red here. Now let's put a little sparkler right in there. Ooh, that's nice. Like him, maybe a little yellow ochre. We'll give him a little friend that's right there. Friends. Some nice little highlights. Now I'm just using the opposite corner. Let's go back to our little fan brush here that has the Van Dyke brown on it. Fan? Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we can just here and there. Bob, I lost my fan brush. Where is my fan brush? I have misplaced my. Oh, it's bushes. Ah! Uh. Wow. Wow? That looks good. It does? It looks amazing. I could do that. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Well, let me let me stand where you're standing. I like the trees a lot better from back here. <laughs> On each side of the okay. brush, a lot of color. Okay. Then we'll go right down here okay. and pull one side okay. through this thin color. Okay. And let's put just the indication of some little stones that live. There's one out in the water that live out here in our world, wherever you want them. 
and we can come back. Tell you what, let's do. Let's take and pull the contact paper off and see what we have. All right, and you know me. <laughs> I never leave well enough alone. I'm sorry, I, I was supposed today, to have something here? I'll just use the old fan brush that has the Van Dyke brown on it. And in our world, stand back and sort of look. I like to have something that sort of projects right out of the scene when we do these little ovals. I just, I think that's neat. And maybe when you do yours, you don't want to have this big tree here. It's up to you. It's really up to you. I just sort of like these. I think I'm done. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna clean up my brushes and stuff and then I'm gonna see what I was supposed to have just painted. Oh boy. Oh boy. Off to a great start. Countryside Oval. Okay. I had the right idea. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> well, um, I mean, <laughs> it could be worse. It's not great, but it could be worse. Thank you for watching. <laughs>